In this eye that has had a prior corneal transplant, the entry wound for the ECP probe is being created using a 2.5 millimeter steel keratome through the surgical limbus. After entry with the keratome, viscoelastic is used to fill the anterior chamber and elevate the iris. The 18 gauge ECP probe is then inserted through the entry site to gain access to the ciliary processes. Once the probe is properly positioned, the surgeon's attention is then focused on the ECP monitor to directly observe the treatment. Processes are treated to achieve whitening and shrinkage, carefully avoiding over-treatment, which would cause an explosion and bubble formation. The anterior and posterior aspects of each process are lasered to achieve a more adequate suppression of aqueous formation. Approximately 180 degrees of processes can be accessed through a single incision. After removal of viscoelastic material, the entry wound can be closed with a single 10-0 nylon suture.